In today's partner cast session, we are going to look at how you can use the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, OAMP, to manage authorizations. In this presentation, we'll answer the following questions. What are authorization opportunities and where can ISVs view authorization opportunities they have created? We'll also cover how to view the status of an authorization opportunity, what the statuses mean, how to deactivate authorization opportunities and how to clone authorization opportunities. Then we'll wrap up with key takeaways, FAQs and some resources related to authorizations that you may find helpful. Before we proceed, please note that authorization opportunities are managed by ISVs. So, the functionalities we are going to look at in this presentation are only available to ISVs. To start, let's go over important acronyms related to this program. CPPO stands for Consulting Partner Private Office. ISV stands for Independent Software Vendor. CP stands for Consulting Partner. And AMMP stands for AWS Marketplace Management Portal. Let's begin by reviewing the authorization process. There are four steps required to set up a consulting partner private offer. ISVs manage the first one, authorization. This is when an ISV authorizes a consulting partner to resell their software. ISVs manage authorization using the Partners tab in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal. When an ISV authorizes a consulting partner to resell their software, they have the option to create different types of authorization opportunities. The ISV determines whether the authorization opportunity is recurring or is available for one-time use. When creating a recurring authorization opportunity, an ISV authorizes a consulting partner to resell their product or products at an agreed upon wholesale discount with the ISV. This also enables consulting partners to create multiple private offers for multiple customers as long as the recurring discount is active. The second type is one-time authorization opportunity. In this case, an ISV uses the AWS Marketplace Management Portal to create a discount that the consulting partner can only use once. ISVs can now utilize the AWS Marketplace Management Portal to create an authorization opportunity using partner information, product information, and the wholesale discount information. Once the ISV successfully creates an authorization opportunity in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, either recurring or negotiated for one-time use, the opportunity is immediately available to the consulting partner in AMP. If you're working on an authorization opportunity that cannot be created in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, please reach out to mpcastdesk at amazon.com. Now that we have understood what authorization opportunities are, Let's discuss where ISVs can view authorization opportunities they have created. ISVs can view all the authorization opportunities they have created in the Partners tab of the AWS Marketplace Management Portal. Opportunities are searchable for the search field. And as a best practice, ISVs should always search for the opportunities created for a particular reseller before they proceed with creating a new one. Each opportunity will have a corresponding opportunity name, reseller name, reseller ID, product name, product ID, discount type, creation date, expiration and status. Please note that we cover how to create authorization opportunities in more detail in other partner cost videos. In this presentation, we are going to cover what other functionalities the Partners tab has to offer. Now that we understand where to view authorization opportunities, we'll cover authorization opportunity statuses, how to view them and what they mean. When viewing an authorization opportunity in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, the seller will see a status column. In that column, each authorization opportunity will show as either active or expired. If the authorization opportunity is active, the consulting partner can use the wholesale discount associated with the authorization opportunity to create a private offer. If the authorization opportunity is expired, the consulting partner can no longer use the wholesale discount associated with the authorization opportunity. Now that we understand authorization opportunity statuses, let's take a quick look at the four functions available via the opportunities dashboard. 
The first functions are deactivate and clone, which we'll cover next. Next is view details. Using this functionality, the ISV can view the details of an already created opportunity. And finally, there is create opportunity, which we will cover in more detail in another partner cost video. Now, we'll go over how to deactivate authorization opportunities. If a seller mistakenly creates an authorization opportunity, or if they simply want to deactivate an existing opportunity they've previously created, they can deactivate the opportunity. If a seller would like to deactivate an authorization opportunity, they can navigate to the Partners tab in AWS Marketplace Management Portal, select the authorization opportunity, and choose Deactivate. Additionally, they can click on the authorization opportunity to view the details and choose Deactivate. They will be prompted to confirm the deactivation after which the authorization opportunity will be cancelled. Now, we'll go over the clone function. The clone function allows ISVs to duplicate an existing opportunity. The ISV can then edit anything they need to change about the opportunity or simply recreate the opportunity keeping all parameters the same. This function is useful when creating similar opportunities for different resellers or recreating expired opportunity because it saves from re-entering all the details. We'll demo the deactivate and clone functions next. Now, we'll walk through a few demos that cover the processes we just went over. We will first see how to view an authorization opportunity in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal. Next, we will see authorization opportunity statuses. We will then see how to deactivate an authorization opportunity. And finally, we will see how to clone an authorization opportunity. We will now log into the AWS Marketplace Management Portal as a seller in order to view authorization opportunities. We will click on the Partners tab where we will see the Opportunities dashboard. From the Opportunities dashboard, we can see the status of each opportunity, which can be either active or expired, as we've discussed before. From here, to view an opportunity, we click the opportunity and click on View Details. We can see all the details of the existing opportunity, and we have two functions, Deactivate and Clone, that we can use. We will now go back to the Partners tab, click on an authorization opportunity, and click on the Deactivate button. This will allow us to deactivate the authorization opportunity by confirming here, and clicking through Deactivate. If we want to clone an authorization opportunity, we'll select the opportunity once again and click on Clone. The Clone function allows the replication of the existing parameters of the opportunity, along with the possibility of editing any parameters, such as right now editing the reseller and choosing another one. Next, let's review what we've just learned about authorization process, managing authorizations, cover some frequently asked questions, and recap the resources available to you. To recap, today we have learned about authorization opportunities, what they are and how to view them, authorization opportunity statuses, and how to deactivate an authorization opportunity. Let's answer some FAQs about authorization. Question number one, when is an authorization opportunity considered expired? An opportunity is considered expired if a one-time opportunity was created by the ISV and the consulting partner has already used it to create an offer, or if an existing opportunity has an expiration date that has passed. Question number two, what happens when I deactivate an authorization opportunity? Deactivating an authorization opportunity does not affect any existing private offers that have already been created using the opportunity. Deactivating the opportunity means the consulting partner can no longer create additional private offers using the wholesale discount associated with the authorization opportunity. Here are the resources I mentioned in today's presentation. You'll also be able to find these resources on the checklist for this video. If you have any further questions about the CPPO program, please reach out to the team.